what is up guys just a mechanic welcome back to another video so today as promised i did say that i was going to have a female painter uh, on the channel and uh, this is just a, a small video of her primering a fender for me and uh, just to basically get her on the channel and uh, really we're just gonna watch her uh, kind of paint and i'm just gonna do a voiceover and kind of talk you through uh, what we're doing here but uh, we are using actually a waterborne base primer uh, here which I have never personally used so she was uh, kind of showing me how to use it and uh, really I was actually really impressed with this primer um, it takes no reducer it you could spray it right out of the can uh, and if you have any leftovers you could actually throw it back into the uh, into the gallon can so uh, pretty cool I think that was uh, pretty interesting it actually dried fairly quickly um, as long as you blow it uh, between coats right so once you once you uh, make a coat you blow it and uh, let it dry or blow it blow it dry and uh, it dries actually fairly quickly so uh, the spray gun that we're using here is actually a Harbor Freight um, HVLP with a 1.7 um, and uh, I was actually asking for her opinion on on the gun just to uh, just to see what she thought and she actually said it, it sprays pretty good but of course we we're only spraying primer so uh, still needs to be uh, you know run through uh, with uh, maybe some single stage or something like that to see if she really does like it but for the most part she said you know what it's it sprayed pretty good to me and and seems like a pretty good primer gun so but anyway we're just gonna go ahead and kind of just shadow her and uh, as you can see she the way she moves uh, pretty cool she uh, you could tell she does this professionally the way she moves she's moving her body and not so much her hand uh, in some instances and that's gonna keep your distance uh, pretty much uh, in lockdown right so you know instead of moving your your hand around and uh, leaving an uneven finish you want to move your body the most you can obviously there's gonna be some instances where you are gonna be moving your hand left and right but uh, for the most part we try to use or at least uh, she tries to use her body I paint the same way um, but yeah, so we're just going to go over and, and see what we can learn here. Now, uh, we are painting in the, in the, uh, garage today. We did have, uh, plans to paint any spray booth. Um, of course those plans did not fall. Um, uh, they ended up falling through. Um, and, uh, it was actually one of, uh, Ashley's friends that was going to allow us to, uh, spray in the booth. Now, um, here we actually did get, um, some sort of chunk I don't I'm not sure if it came out of the primer or uh, if something uh, you know kind of landed in it or something like that but uh, we ended up uh, sanding it out with uh, 600 grit uh, sandpaper now um, with this waterborne based primer it was actually it dried very very quickly um, and this is actually a fender that I did some body work in that section right there that I pointed at it had a nice uh, good sized dent I ended up uh, hammering it out and then putting some body filler and primer of course uh, to fix the uh, to fix the fender um, so anyways I'm uh, just gonna allow you guys to uh, watch her paint I'm gonna end the voice over here for now and then uh, we'll cut you back in in a bit
All right, so something real quick I wanted you guys to notice. Uh, notice that she makes her adjustment and then puts her hand in front of the spray gun. Uh, never seen somebody do that before. And I asked her what she was doing, and that's actually how she checks her spray pattern, which I thought was uh, pretty fascinating. So she'll actually check the size of her spray pattern just by putting her hand in front of it and seeing how wide uh, that spray pattern is uh, coming out. So something very, very interesting. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, you do notice that she makes a few slight adjustments here and there um, with the gun. And to be honest, that's what makes a really good painter is being able to make small little adjustments and watching the uh, paint lay down. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, that's, you know, it, it, it says a lot about her experience right there is that she, she makes little adjustments here and there. Um, and really that's what makes a good painter. So anyway, just, uh, just wanted to, uh, highlight that and, uh, let's continue on. So how do you like spraying in the garage? It's okay. It's okay? Are you used to it? Yes. You said this is how you started painting? Well, I, I painted everywhere. That's why I didn't know. Everywhere? Yeah. You can paint anywhere. I mean, if you're good, you're good, right? You just have to know what works. You just have to know what works? You just have to make it work. Okay. So do you have any tips for people that are spraying in a garage? What are your some of your blow tips or advices? Blow everything out and wet everything. The walls, the floor, everything. Okay. Over it, you don't want to overspray. Okay. And how do you fight trash? Just by Blow cleaning it? And water. Water. A lot of water. Water on the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the walls. And the walls. Good ventilation? Well, yeah, that always helps, but sometimes you don't have that. Okay. Any other advice you have for... You know, maybe beginners, painting in a garage. Paint suit. Helps. Paint suit. Most of the trash comes from you. Most of the trash comes from you, yeah. she says. Most of the trash comes from the painter. From the painter. It's, okay. it's not really trash, it's dirt. It's dirt, right. Mm -hmm. I just say trash because it's a general term. <laughs> okay. But, um, it's your movement, and it, because everything's still until you move. So the less movement you do, the less you have on, the tighter clothes you have on, the better. Okay. Nice. Sweet. Well, hopefully we can get this thing in a paint booth soon. And uh, actually paint and clear in a booth instead of in a garage. Mm -hmm. This one is only a uh, primer. You guys want to know what primer we use? It's a Waterborne H1000 Waterborne primer. You spray this uh, without reducing it, correct? Uh, can you use anything with it, or um, do you, you want to? to? You don't need to. Yeah, you okay. want it to be. They built. They built it for no reducer. Okay, they built it for so no reducer. You don't reduce it. So you don't reduce it. Gotcha. It's, that's why it's high build. That's okay. What makes it high build. The thickness. Okay. Just because it doesn't. You just keep get... it closed and sealed and make it good. Close. Whatever you, you don't use, you can pour it back into the to the container. Okay. Right, because it's not mixed. Right, it never hardens. It never hardens. Just so. here. Okay. And I think it's the ASF, correct? Uh, yeah, I gotta close the lid anyway. It's still open. Yeah, BASF, I think, is the brand. You can't see it because it's the tapes over it. All right, well, that's that. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed watching Ashley, the painter, uh, spray the fender. Just It's just primer job for now. Um, we were supposed to spray in a booth, but uh, that kind of went out the door real quick. And then um, you spray it also, you want to dry each coat, blow, blow with air, each coat dry. So each coat that you spray with, and with this cold, type of If it's cold, you can use a hair dryer. Okay, so if it's cold, you use a hair dryer, mm -hmm. but you Just, want to... always uh, spray, try not to spray directly into it because you're pushing the moisture back in, but you want to spray to the side and push the moisture to the side. Okay, gotcha. 
All right, that's that. Alrighty guys, so if you guys want to check out more on Ashley, make sure you follow her page on Instagram at Ashley the Painter. Uh, you can check out all her photos there and all her previous work. Honestly, Ashley is a badass painter, uh, not only for being a girl, but honestly, she could probably run circles around most people uh, or most painters in the trade. So make sure you give her a follow. And uh, as always, guys, stay spraying. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.